Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I know many people use the microwave and today I'm going to discuss if it's safe, if it can potentially cause cancer, what the government says about this, what clinical studies have shown, and my own personal view on this topic. And I bring this up because I have a friend who has parents who are still alive in their late 80s and they're both healthy and have no cancer or any other real health problems. And my friend said she believes that it's because her parents have never used a microwave. She said, I think microwaving food causes radiation and can cause cancer. I think this is one reason cancer is on the rise. We, everyone's using the microwave. We heat all of our foods on the stove, on an open fire like people have for thousands of years. So what do you think? Do you think she's right? You know, that microwaving food is bad for our health, that it can cause radiation to the foods we eat and thus potentially cause cancer? Let me know below in the comments. Now, before I dig deeper in this topic, I have a related story. A few years ago, I remember a story that went viral about how two plants were given water. One was with regular purified water and the other was with microwaved water. Well, after nine days, the plant that was given microwave water was almost dead, while the one with purified water was still alive and healthy. Now, I remember after that, <laughs> I actually stopped microwaving water for a while. I thought, wow, if it's killing a plant that quickly, who knows what's, what it's doing to me? Now, I'll get back to that plant example in a minute. But let's go back to the original topic. Does microwaving food cause radiation to the food that we eat and thus potentially give you and I cancer? Well, the FDA says, no, microwave ovens do not cause radiation to the foods we eat. Okay, so that's good. Granted, you know, many people don't trust the government or the FDA these days when it comes to our health. So let's continue with the research. What does the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency say? They've stated that microwave ovens use electromagnetic radiation to heat food. This non-ionization radiation used by a microwave does not make the food radioactive. Microwaves are only produced when the oven is operating. The microwaves produced inside the oven are absorbed by the food and produce the heat that, the, that cooks the food. Microwave ovens are constructed to ensure the electromagnetic radiation does not leave the oven. This includes safety interlocks, which ensure that the oven turns off any time the door is opened. So the EPA agrees with the FDA. However, they also say that if microwave ovens are used while broken or altered, it is possible for them to leak electromagnetic radiation. Microwave radiation leaks are hard to detect because you can't smell or see microwaves. The FDA, which regulates radiation emitting uh, products such as microwave ovens, advises against standing directly in front of up or up against the oven while it's operating. This will avoid harm from any possible leaks. Now, this last part is important, so let me repeat it. Because, because we can't see or smell radiation leaks, it's advised that just in case something might be broken or isn't operating correctly in the microwave, it's best that we avoid standing directly in front of or up against the oven while it's operating. Okay, so this is something I need to do as well and be more cognizant of it. Now, when basically we can use the microwave, but just to play it safe, walk away while it's operating, while it's on. As far as how far, I don't know, but you know, the farther, the better, I guess. But again, these are government agencies. What about clinical studies having to do with cancer? Well, in 1997, Peter Valberg reviewed all of the epidemiological studies at the time, which looked at the incidence and the distribution of cancer in relation to microwave radiation exposure and tried to determine whether microwaves increase the risk of cancer in humans. He found very little evidence to support this and concluded that microwaves do not cause cancer. And this makes sense if you understand how microwaves work because we know that the non-ionization radiation used in microwave ovens is not powerful enough to transfer radiation into the food. It can only cause the water molecules to move and thus heat 
the food. Additional, additionally, another study printed in molecular and cellular biology found that microwave radiation exposure did not show any signs of increased cancer risk in mice. To summarize, microwaves don't make foods radioactive, they just heat them. And this is done because microwaves basically heat food by causing the water molecules to vibrate and as a result, the food is heated. Again, it goes from the uh, heating of the water. This is different than conventional cooking, which cooks the food from the absorption of heat energy. Now, one thing to remember is that the radiation can damage the DNA, all right? However, when it comes to food, it's already dead, all right? There's no DNA damage, and your body isn't affected by the DNA of what you eat. Now, going back to that microwave water and plant experiment I mentioned earlier, well, as it turned out, it wasn't accurate, all right? Nobody has been able to replicate that experiment. In fact, others have tried to replicate that experiment using three different types of water on three different types of plants. Using the first one is boiled water on a gas stove. The other is boiling water in a microwave. And number three, it's just regular non-boiled or non-heated water. Now, the end result is that the plants were the same at the end, all right? Nothing bad happened. There was no difference. So let's go full circle. You know, what's my view? So at the end of all this, here are my thoughts. First of all, I don't think microwaving food is bad for you or can cause cancer. I do think it's a good idea to stay away from the microwave while it's on, just to be extra cautious and safe. I also think that food does taste better when it's not microwaved and heated conventionally. So try to do that more often. However, I know microwaving is easy and fast. Just make sure you use microwave safe containers preferably glass or even paper, like a paper plate, both being better than plastic or rubber for a variety of health reasons. So there you have it. Enjoy the microwaving, stand a little bit farther from it while it's on, and try to, if you can, use conventional uh, gas or fire if you can. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know your questions and comments below, and let me know if you have any other questions related to this topic. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.